In a vibrant African village nestled amidst verdant hills and lush forests, there lived a community known for their rich cultural heritage and deep connection to the land. Among them was a wise elder named Matoki, whose tales captivated the hearts and minds of young and old alike. Legend had it that Matok was blessed with the gift of storytelling by the spirits of the ancestors, who whispered ancient wisdom into his ears as he slept beneath the starlit sky. His stories were woven with threads of magic and mystery, transporting listeners to realms where lions spoke in hushed tones and trees danced to the rhythm of the wind. One evening, as the villagers gathered around the flickering flames of the communal fire, Matoke began to recount a tale that had been passed down through generations. It is said, began Matoke, his voice carrying the weight of centuries, that long ago, in the heart of our village, there lived a young maiden named Adia. Adia was known for her radiant beauty and gentle spirit, which captured the hearts of all who beheld her. But Adia's heart belonged to a humble farmer named Kwasi, continued Matoke, whose hands toiled the fertile soil of the village fields. Despite their difference in social status, Adia and Kwasi shared a love that burned brighter than the midday sun, a love that knew no bounds. However, Matoki paused, his eyes glimmering with the flickering light of the fire. Their love faced a formidable obstacle in the form of a jealous sorcerer who dwelled in the depths of the nearby forest. Envious of the happiness that Adia and Kwasi shared, the sorcerer plotted to tear them apart and claim Adia as his own. With dark incantations and wicked spells, the sorcerer cast a curse upon Kwasi, transforming him into a mighty lion that roamed the forest in search of his beloved, recounted Matok, his words tinged with sorrow. Despite the dangers that lurked in the shadowy depths of the forest, Adia embarked on a perilous journey to find her lost love. Armed with nothing but her courage and unwavering determination, she braved the treacherous path, guided by the flickering light of love that burned within her heart. Through trials and tribulations, Adia navigated the enchanted forest, facing fearsome beasts and cunning traps set by the sorcerer. Yet with each step she took, her love for Kwasi grew stronger, fueling her resolve to break the curse and reunite with her beloved. After days of relentless pursuit, Adia finally reached the heart of the forest, where she confronted the sorcerer in a battle of wills and wits. With the power of love as her shield, and the strength of her spirit as her sword. Adia overcame the sorcerer's dark magic and shattered the curse that held Kwasi captive. And so, concluded Matoke, his voice ringing with triumph, Adia and Kwasi were reunited, their love transcending the barriers of magic and time. Their tale became a beacon of hope and inspiration for generations to come, a testament to the enduring power of love to conquer even the darkest of forces. As Matoke's tale came to an end, the villagers sat in reverent silence, their hearts filled with wonder and awe. And in that moment, amidst the flickering flames of the communal fire, the spirit of the village was renewed, and the bonds of love and unity that bound them together grew ever stronger.